California's mega high-speed rail project between San Francisco and Los Angeles facing another major funding hurdle. Today in the Bay's Ginger Conajero Saab is live in San Francisco this morning. And Ginger, I've covered this story for years and years and years. I would think at this point I'd be able to write on it. That's what you and many others were hoping for, Laura, but we're told more money is needed to make progress on this project, and it's a lot more money. In fact, $100 billion, and that's not all. California High Speed Rail Project CEO Brian Kelly testified this week at the State Senate Transportation Committee about the authority's updated draft business plan. Kelly told lawmakers he had $28 billion on hand, but that is still several billion dollars short to make progress on this. Central Valley segment between Madera and Merced. He said he's hoping to fill that gap with federal funds to get it to the projected 32 to 35 billion dollar cost. That part of the project is now expected to be fully operational at the earliest by at uh, 2030. Now, aside from the money to fill the gap in the Central Valley, project leaders still need an additional $100 billion to complete the bullet train from San Francisco to Los Angeles. You're seeing a map of the phases of this project. Phase one will connect San Francisco and Merced to Los Angeles and Anaheim. Phase two will add Sacramento to Merced and San Diego to Los Angeles. Now, you'll remember voters were originally pitched the idea back in 2008. The expectation then was that this would be complete by now, but almost 16 years later, there's no definitive end date in sight. Right now, the, the air is being sucked out of the room funding-wise by this one project. How do we get the public on board with something that has this much of a downside to it, funding-wise? I think the only way you get the public is by performing better. And I think the authority is performing better today than it was, and I think it will going forward. Now, the project CEO hopes there are also funding opportunities with the private sector. Now, guys, this is also something that can be affected following the November election. In the past, President Biden has given his support to this project. But this is something that we as Californians can watch out for, see how that progress continues. Guys, back to you. Completely. If you drive out in the Central Valley, you just see kind of segments of it and then nothing. So we'll see where it goes. Maybe one day we'll ride it, Ginger. Maybe one day. <laughs>